Hermant, as you are aware, Ireland has voted to ease restrictions on divorce by an overwhelming majority, continuing the country's social move to liberalise its constitution heavily influenced by the clerics. Can you tell our viewers how this unfolded? Well, Sam, uh, voters approved constitutional uh, referendum by about 82% of votes, uh, one of the largest referendum margins in, in, in the country's uh, history. Uh, the the referendum uh, you know proposed amending two articles in the in the Irish constitution to facilitate recognition of uh, foreign divorces and to reduce the amount of times uh, couples needed to live apart before qualifying for divorce uh, no one was exempt from this mandatory wait time including those uh, who you know are trying to leave abusive relationships you know, most of whom are actually women. Campaigners uh, said that the liberalization would reduce the financial and emotional cost of divorce. As the law previously stood, uh, you know, couples seeking uh, a divorce would have to live separately for, for a period of four years. What is the criteria for amending the constitution? Yeah. Well, 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 Sam, according to Irish laws, any amendment to the constitution requires a referendum. While Ireland's main political parties were in favor of uh, you know, easing regulations that would make uh, filing for a divorce easier, Catholic pressure groups have maintained uh, their opposition uh, to, to, to this stand, stating that you know, separation causes disruption to children's lives, and, and that the government should instead, uh, you know, invest uh, resource in, in, into making marriages work. Divorce was uh, legalized relatively recently in, uh, you know, in the predominantly Catholic country in 1995 after a vote passed by a margin uh, of uh, less than one person. But the country is seeing signs of moving towards more liberal, uh, you know, policies. Ireland, Ireland, for instance, became the first country uh, to, to legalize same-sex marriage through a popular vote with uh, more than 60% voting uh, yes in a, in a referendum in 2015. And earlier this year, it opened its you know, first abortion, ser abortion services following the 2018 vote that repealed a constitutional amendment that had placed a clear ban on terminations. Sam. Right, Herman, thank you.